Now some of the numbers have changed. This was the first time I wrote this up last month. Or was it the month before? Anyway, since then I've changed Audible is actually on hold, so I'm not paying the $24.50 a month right now. Prime has been changed. Here shortly, I'm, on the renewal date, Amazon Prime will go, instead of monthly, will go to yearly, dropping it down to a little over $9. Let's see, that'd be one nineteen divided by 12 equals, well, a little under $10, about nine ninety two a month. For Amazon Prime and AT&T the phone that was the company phone essentially I have switched from AT&T to Pure Talk USA for 20 I think 22 26 a month so I've cut that almost in half pretty close to it Oh, and income varies depending on if you're working the overtime or not. The thing that has happened since this chart here is now my machine is on 12 hours. So I work Monday and Tuesday, then I'm off Wednesday and Thursday. Then I work Friday and Saturday. So I have four days this week, which the pay would be here. Then the following week would be, I work Sunday, off Monday and Tuesday. Work Wednesday and Thursday, then I'm off Friday, Saturday. And that would be 36 hours. So you get 48 hours, then 36 hours, and the 36 hours pay would be here. So Amazon Prime renews November 13th. Yeah, and the new phone bill is 22, 26 a month. That is for unlimited talk, text, and data, but it's only 500 megabyte of data. And instead of 1313 for Amazon Prime, it'll be 991 a month after this. I'm going to check into where's car insurance. Is it not on here? Oh, okay. I'm going to check into paying the car insurance all at one time instead of making monthly payments and see what the savings would be on that. Hopefully. And I'm going to pay off a uh, Premier card somewhere around in here. Hopefully. I'll update you on that. While the power bill was fifty eight sixty seven, the budget is really for about hundred hundred and ten dollars a month because it's going to start getting colder and the heat will run up the bill. Also, in the hotter summer months when the air conditioner runs, the bill is higher as well. But basically, this channel will be all over the place. So I want to apologize in advance. Because essentially, what I'm going to try to do is come up with as many... I'm going to try to come up with as many ways to save money as possible and put it toward debt. I've organized it smallest to largest.
There's also some company bills that's not on there that I still owe, so that's part of it as well. I still need to pay for those. But I wanted to separate this from the business channel and basically make this a personal channel only. Sorry about the lighting in here. It's dreary outside and raining. And... But anyway, and I'm going to try to come up with some DIY solutions to how to save money. Obviously, only do what applies to you. I mean, I'm going to renovate my bathroom. Right now, I'm in the process of redoing my water lines. If that is something that you're not able to do, then obviously don't do it. I mean, all the advice and everything that I want to give you, only do that if you can. And I'm noticing something. Okay. Give me one second. Where it says Ditec 705. Right here. Technically my house payment is only 404. Something. So, I have been paying an extra $300 a month on the house, but I've decided to stop that and pay them off in order that's on that little front board there. Starting with Premier Card, then City Card, then Spark Card. I debated whether I should put those actually on there because, let's face it, those are all relatively crap bills to have, especially Premier Card. Um, you should not... Regional Finance and, and Mariner Finance were places that actually sent me a check. And in a moment of weakness, I went and deposited the check anyway. I really wish I hadn't have done that. And some of those cards charge ridiculous amount of interest. I think Premier Car was what, 36% interest or something. There is one thing that you can do. I recommend, actually, I may even do it on the channel, but I recommend that you call your credit card companies and ask them to lower your rate. I did do that with Spark Card and they lowered it to like 18% from 24%. I'm going to do that again later and try to get it even lower than that, but Anyway, I'm going to try to keep the videos on here relatively short, although if I'm mechanicing on something or fixing on the house or something like that myself, that might be a longer video. But I will update this board at least every month and track my progress. The grand total at the bottom is October's balance. And I'll refigure it each month. What I want to do is pay everything off as quick as possible and watch the balance drop dramatically. I mean, I don't know what's actually going to happen, but that's what I want to happen. And I may post wins and fails and things like that, ways that I save money, things that I spend money on. I mean, I, I don't have a problem buying quality products or paying uh, top dollar for something that's worth it. I just don't want to buy everything overpriced. I don't buy everything overpriced. People recommend you know getting a part-time job or a weekend job or, or something along those lines. I would make considerably more money if I just worked over at my new job. So I may pick up some extra shifts on days off because doing the 12-hour shift thing, I have, you know, literally work six months out of the year. And then I have the other six months I could work an extra day a week here and there 
to do that. Hopefully this channel generates some income as well. Hint, hint. Through advertising and things like that, I guess. But anyway, uh, follow me on this journey if you want to. And again, I apologize because this channel is going to be all over the place. But it's just basically what I'm doing. It's all about budgeting, living frugal, and that kind of thing. I say I left anything out. Oh, so like and subscribe. Be sure to give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down or both. Leave a comment. I'll try to answer any questions, but it, again, everything on this channel is just my opinion. I hopefully you're watching more than one channel and you basically, I hope you have a variety of opinions to choose from because everybody's circumstance is different.